Hello guys and welcome to my channel for another great Super Sunday video. Today we will talk about the newest uh, Flight Sim Labs update of version 5.0.1.100 which is available to download from FS Labs download page and it is an update for the Airbus A320X model for P3D version 4 and also for the newest Prepare 3D version 5 with the hotfix number 2. Stay tuned if you want to hear all about the new and updated features for this bus and enjoy the video. So to start up, the update was announced several weeks ago when the newest flight simulator from Lockheed Martin revealed uh, their newest prepared 3D simulator, the version 5. This update is mainly for those P3D version 5 users as this is the first integration of Flight Sim Labs uh, Airbus to the P3D version 5. And following this update on the installation model uh, there is also some additional features included in the update. There are most noticeable features made uh, to external model, the ATSU, to FMGS and also to other various stuff. When talking about external model, uh, the external model texturing was redone using the physics based rendering or PBR which comes to life with new dynamic lightning and other effects uh, which increase immersion factor compared to older versions. When talking about the new PBR textures, the thing to mention is that now the older textures or older liveries, uh, if we can say uh, that, are not compatible uh, anymore with the newest model. The new liveries are uploaded at Flight Sim Labs uh, forums constantly, so check the download section for new updated uh, liveries. And now there is also a new passenger uh, window individually modeled in detail which enables stunning uh, PBR reflections uh, when flying. And there is additionally animation added to the windows as the window blinds are now controlled to manually adjust in case of sun shining too bright. When the sun shines from the right, the code will dynamically calculate the sun angle and the right hand side blinds will be closed. But the blinds will stay open during the departure and landings as this is a requirement. This is definitely a great feature but probably not everyone will notice it as it is not that crucial for the simulation. Then we are continuing with new features and we can say that next feature is almost immediately seen when entering the cockpit as there are data link control and display unit screens or DCDU screens added to the cockpit and they are optional. With DCDU you will be able to communicate with controller only in text mode and these displays are also already in use at Flight Sim Labs A321 model. So these features added from A321 model to the A320 model. Following that there were some additional updates made to FMGS as the S8 uh, software was added and the minimum decision altitude and decision height were replaced with barrow and radio altitudes. Then there were different pages updated and display management computers were updated for profile or V deviation and approach identifiers. And finally there was a nice feature added which was in my opinion needed and that feature is a mechanic horn which triggers the external power to connect or disconnect and uh, the chocks to be set or removed. I think that feature was needed as the users without GSX uh, cannot get the same experience as the users with uh, GSX as GSX provides this option as when you arrive at the gate the external power and the chocks will automatically be set in few seconds and now also non-GSX users will be able to perform that action. You will simply horn the ground operators and then after some time there will be a knocking sound and the external power will be connected and the chocks will be set, just like in real life. After this feature uh, there were also a few various updates on sounds, lights, engines, the effects and other stuff but the main features were represented uh, to you throughout the video. 
hopefully I successfully presented you the newest features about Flight Sim Labs Airbus A320X update 5.0.1.100. Enjoy flying the Airbus A320 in Prepare 3D version 4 and version 5 in new future and don't forget to check all of the mentioned features inside your cockpit. But also do not forget that new updates from Flight Sim Labs are on the way, for example the Sharklets version is in making and will represent Airbus A320 and Airbus A321 with Sharklets and the new EFB displays. Please like the video at the end and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new and if you want to stay informed about further updates and information regarding the Flight Sim Labs. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye bye. Thank you.